Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Casey Wheat, and I'm with Restoration Robotics. I'm here today at uh, Maxim Medical, and I'm with Dr. Michael Trent. Dr. Trent is a 30-year veteran in vascular surgery, and yesterday he had 2,500 follicular units placed uh, using the Artist IX system, the latest system out by Restoration Robotics. Dr. Trent, tell us a little bit about your experience yesterday. The experience was excellent. I was, was referred to this clinic through a friend that I did surgery with back in New York where my practice was for many years and she is down here now as am I and I came here and Dr. Chumak explained the procedure. I then did a lot of investigation myself by looking up on the net robotic hair transplantation and the feats that it can do as opposed to the human hand alone are truly a magnificent stride forward in hair restoration. And yesterday's procedure went quick, basically painless, well informed, and I had over 2,500 transplants, whether one or two or three hairs in each, mostly one and two in the front, and absolutely no pain last night. I was prescribed pain medication. I did not need it. And I'm very much looking forward to having the hair grow in and see the result in the next three to six months. This is something that takes time. It's not overnight, but it will be well worth it. That's fantastic, Michael. I'm so glad that you chose Maxim Medical here in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And so am I. Good morning. Um, here we are with Dr. Michael Trent, who had his procedure six days ago here at Maxim Medical Robotic Hair Transplant Clinic in Fort Lauderdale. Um, and uh, he wanted to share how he had his experience right after the procedure, right? Yes. The experience has been wonderful. Yes, there is some minimal discomfort, but it is minimal, mainly sleeping at night when you put pressure on the back of the head where the donor area was, but pain pills take care of that, and I expect to be off all pain pills within the next day or two. And the procedure could not have been more simple, extremely well explained, all questions answered, and thus far, from looking and seeing on the top of the head what I probably will have in several months' time once the hair has grown in, I'm extremely ex excited, as many people are back at home where I live that have seen this. Great. And, uh, uh, just to remind what we did, we did a robotic hair restoration using the state-of-the-art uh, IX system. It's a brand new robot that was just recently released. We're one of the few clinics in the United States that acquired this uh, new um, um, robotic equipment and uh, we actually did part of the procedure of the implantation was performed robotically okay and uh, it went really well okay uh, we um, we restored the crown area we restored the anterior part of the head uh, all the harvesting was performed robotically so one of the advantages of using robotic versus manual harvesting is that the robot spaces those um, uh, harvest inside evenly so we don't over harvest one particular area everything is uh, spread homogeneously and also um, there is a lesser risk of what we call the telogen effluvium that's one of the risk of the FUE procedures with the robotic surgery we never had this complication so far and um, the attestation of Dr. Trent who has uh, become became a very good friend of mine over the last few days, right? We talk, we talk a lot yes. now. He is a prominent vascular surgeon from New York. Now he's living in um, West Palm Beach. And yeah, well, yes. I can't stress enough the donor area where the hair transplant grafts are taken, as opposed to the previous days in the past, and still done at this day at other centers, which I would not recommend. They would take out a large piece of skin four or five centimeters in length, one or two centimeters in breadth, and then from that, you manually would take out the hairs. You would have a large defect in the back of the skull, which would have to be mobilized to close that incision, giving rise to tension, stress, pain, etc., and possible bleeding and infection. This robotic extraction of the hair grafts, I, I absolutely am amazed by and very pleased with. Thank you. We'll show you actually how um, how the back of the head, the harvesting side, and the plantation side look. What uh, five 
no, six days after the procedure. And again, thank you very much for sharing your experience with me. And uh, we'll hope to see you soon for your uh, you know, follow-up PRP treatment. Thank you very much.